All right, good morning. Uh, this is uh, Jill Valente with Cisco, and I'm with uh, Marcus Hacker. Hi, Israel. Good morning. So uh, today we're going to talk about uh, the partnership between uh, Cisco and Engena, Next Generation Enterprise Network Alliance. Uh, we're going to talk about the business. Uh, Marcus, I'm going to ask Marcus actually to cover uh, first uh, uh, the Engena, uh, you know, business, the genesis of it and uh, its inception, and then uh, we'll uh, talk about benefits, about the technology we cover, the partnership itself uh, in the different facets, the business model, and obviously uh, the outcome and what's ahead. So Marcus, let's get started. So tell us about uh, how Engina came to existence. Oh yeah, Joel, I'm happy to do so. So I think Jenna um, is all about providing uh, global networks to enterprises. And what we have figured out in the past is that the current networks, meaning the MPLS-based networks and others, can't really anymore fulfill all the uh, requirements of modern uh, networks uh, for enterprise customers. has a lot to do with that all that customers are truly international, so you need to have a perfect coverage to connect all the different sites, sales office, production sites, and so on. And on the other hand, um, based on the new IT strategies, many of the enterprises has moved their applications to public clouds and therefore the internet has become an integral part of network designs. So it requires a new way of designing networks and uh, deploying new technologies like especially SD-WAN, so software-defined WANs, to, to really support these customers with their specific needs in providing global coverage and especially providing the uh, huge uh, bandwidth requirements which they have and really integrating natively the internet into the designs. So a, a key question around that. So obviously uh, here one of the uh, key aspects is the, the world is getting global. Many organizations have uh, you know, factories, outlets around the world in different locations. Doesn't have to be everywhere, but so, you know, if you have uh, just a few, uh, tens, hundreds uh, around uh, different uh, locations in multiple regions and countries, uh, it's pretty, pretty daunting to get that uh, going and obviously to manage it yourself. So um, how do you now, the complexity of doing this for a startup versus the big players already in that market, how did you do it? Yeah, definitely. So I think uh, we couldn't do that ourselves. Therefore, the whole concept of Jenna very much builds on a partner approach. So this is really an alliance of uh, different uh, companies. So in the first place, it is an alliance of leading telecommunication service providers around the world. So many of, leading, uh, of the leading telcos have signed up uh, for, for the Jenna Alliance, just to mention a few ones, not to be comprehensive here, but just, uh, for example, our partner in the US is Centralink. In Canada, it's Telos. For Latin America, it's Neutrona. In Europe, we have strong partners with Altice Group, with SFR and uh, Portugal Telecom. Of course, with Deutsche Telekom, um, A1, with uh, covering, of course, Austria, KPN in Netherlands, Vion for Russia and other countries. But also Asian region is already covered nicely. So with the PCCW Global, Hong Kong and a lot of other countries in Southeast Asia, as well as Starhub for Singapore and so on. So SK, uh, just to mention for South Korea, but also Africa. So we are working with MTN. So you really see um, the alliance is really a global alliance um, and, and we are covering uh, more or less every region of, uh, of the world already. And the idea is that these alliance partners are providing the access and aggregation networks and then Jenner as a startup company with a tremendous help of Cisco of course is building a global platform which is more or less connecting the local networks of our alliance partners and then leveraging latest technologies to create a consistent overlay network, then connecting all the different customer sites which are within the regions of our alliance partner to a consistent enterprise network. So it's a combination of bringing the strong and uh, with high capillarity networks of our alliance partners together with a global platform approach 
and providing a consistent architecture for enterprise networks. So what are the key benefits then uh, to those enterprises that come to you uh, that have, you know, around the world, uh, working through those retail partners, the alliance partners, uh, whether coming if you are headquarters, uh, uh, let's say in Hong Kong or in the US, you would go to one of the partners uh, to be able actually to figure out how they can satisfy through the alliance, through NGENA, also as a, a provider behind the scene, uh, those capabilities. But what are the key benefits that enterprises could reap out of this uh, approach versus what exists today in the market? So thanks a lot for especially pointing out that it will be always the alliance partner, uh, more or less, serving the customers. And what we are doing at Jenner is providing that global uh, platform, which allows the alliance partner to serve the customer. So the first benefit uh, for the customer really is if he uh, is asking the trusted partner he, he typically is working with um, about supporting uh, him with a global network, that this alliance partner via the Jenna platform really can provide perfect global coverage to that customer without doing a lot of further investments or additional agreements with other service providers around the world because this topic has been solved via the general lines approach. So the, the concrete benefit for customers is they get global coverage, but still, and that's important, they have the local care of the alliance partners because still you need to connect a lot of sites around the world with all that installation needs and with the maintenance needs. So global coverage and local care. The other, I think, very important benefit of the um, general approach is we have designed a platform which is completely automated end to end. So you do a design and then via a layered service orchestration, we deploy in a completely automated way a complex global network. This allows you to be much, much faster the way how you A, design it and implement the network than you do it in a traditional way where you have to uh, more or less configure many of the devices uh, individually and you have to reach out to all the different boxes. So just to give you a comparison, um, we, we are working with a lot of virtualized instances. Um, and uh, if you take the example, if a customer want to have a new firewall um, in uh, classical network designs, uh, you would use a box for it, right? You would order it, you select it first and order it. It needs to be shipped, it needs to be installed. Typically, that takes a lot of weeks, six to eight weeks, sometimes even some months. Now, with a Jenna platform approach and uh, with a complete uh, virtualized environment uh, we are working with, it is you select the service for a firewall and we can deploy that within minutes up to one hour everywhere around the world. So you can be, you see that advantage of speed and agility um, if you build a platform like that. That's the second, I think, very, very important uh, benefit you have uh, for that one. The third one is that we work with high reliable uh, transport networks, uh, especially in Ethernet, but also with a quite, uh, I think, uh, cheap and low cost networks with a public internet. And you very flexibly can choose whether you want to connect sites with a high bandwidth, low cost internet access, or via high reliability, high service SLA quality sites and Ethernet. And you can flexibly combine all that based on a single platform. So you have a high flexibility to come up with the perfect design um, with regards to what you really want to achieve and what the customer needs are. So just to mention a few of the benefits. Very good. Uh, thank you, uh, Marcus, on those uh, benefits. So the, uh, uh, the point then on uh, the overall partnership, we, we touched on uh, the alliance partners, uh, obviously making this uh, overall global network, pretty much this shared economy, as you mentioned at the time, uh, really taking that into B2B uh, uh, space. What about the technical partnerships? Obviously, Cisco, uh, we'll discuss it a little bit more, uh, is one of the uh, preferred technology partners, but there are other areas as well. You constructed this as a very uh, global layered architecture to be able actually to provide uh, that level of uh, also consistency, 
uh, in terms of uh, uh, management and control, in terms of level of automation across the board, um, and, and having really this uh, uh, global but centralized as well, uh, you know, a global directory, catalog, services, etc. So there are other partners as well, both in terms of maybe the uh, business uh, and operational support system. Also, to your point, you mentioned it's not just branch today, branch to branch or branch headquarters. It's also SaaS, cloud, uh, and, and other type of uh, providers. So how, uh, you know, other partners potentially that are part of the uh, relationship and the partnership with uh, Engena? Yeah, absolutely. So for us, we say we want to be the most partner-centric um, organization around. And on one hand, our partners are the alliance partners. We talked about that. The other one, and you just mentioned it, are our technology partners. And we also have taken, I think, a very different approach to working with technology partners here because we have deeply integrated our technology partners in the design, the development, and implementation of what we are doing. And this is not just for implementing the platform initially. It has also a lot to do with the way how we are approaching the life cycle management. So we internally, uh, of course, always uh, talk about uh, CICD. It means a continuous integration, a continuous de delivery process. Um, and it, it really means that we are more or less have a joint approach with our technology partners in developing the platform and really understanding what our technology partners can deliver. And they do a lot of that development for us, meaning especially the way of integrating it. Of course, we only can do that with few technology partners. If you work so tightly together with them, if you integrate them so deeply into your processes, um, and we have very uh, carefully chosen our partners. Uh, one of the partners, of course, is Cisco. Therefore, we are sitting here together, JL. Um, and uh, you are covering, I think, very important uh, parts of the technology stack, uh, starting with the IT infrastructure, uh, with the um, sd wan overlay uh, topic, uh, with doing the orchestration. Um, and uh, you're also doing a lot of uh, areas uh, with the operational support here. So. Uh, that is a piece uh, we are working with, with you together. Um, the other important piece is towards the business support systems and operation support systems, which covers uh, areas like the CRM system, which we are using, the global service catalog you, you briefly mentioned, but also components like the next generation service assurance and next generation service fulfillment uh, modules. We're doing that together with Comarc, uh, a uh, company based in Poland and Krakow, um, and which also are tightly uh, integrated in the development, and even uh, Comarc is directly interacting with Cisco to really ensure that also the interface between the BSS OS system and the orchestration which you deliver really works nicely. So we are very happy that also our technology partners has developed a culture to, to work together. There's a third important one, uh, which is Equinix. Equinix is helping us with the data center space, but especially from a strategic point of view, also Equinix is important for us uh, as we have agreed with them to leverage and use their cloud exchange platform to reach out to the public um, cloud infrastructures um, there, and uh, which allows us to get a very efficient uh, and global access to the public cloud platforms. Uh, which are more and more becoming important for enterprise customers. So these are our three uh, currently, uh, I would say, most important uh, technology partners. Um, this um, is not a final list. Uh, over time, I think we will see uh, more functions, features to be added. And uh, so I, I would, would see some, some more partners joining soon. So one um, aspect of uh, uh, the platform, obviously, talk about connectivity. One of the key uh, mandates and, and certainly uh, care about today is security. Um, so just a, a few words maybe on also how we've uh, handled security, security not only obviously of the platform itself, but security for the services, those different uh, access designs, as we call it in, in our language within uh, with Engena, uh, in terms of the services that are offered to, to customers. A few words on that? Oh, 
yeah, definitely. So I think first of all, using the uh, Cisco SD WAN um, as a basic technology, I think there is a lot of security built in 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 that in that architecture itself. It means it is end to end encrypted. I think it is most important because if you run traffic over public internet, you definitely, of course, need to ensure that that the traffic you send is uh, is encrypted in the in the latest in the way, latest way of, of what you can do here, right? Um, of course, we have a lot of additional security features, like we are using uh, firewalls, uh, which uh, which we have uh, built uh, in, in onto our service platform. We are using the latest firepower technology to to more or less protect our own infrastructure. We are using uh, firewalls, of course, to protect the customer uh, traffic against the internet. We have web security built in, and we will see a lot of uh, further. Um, threat uh, protection, intrusion detection uh, stuff, and 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 a lot of other features uh, to be added to the service portfolio. Yeah, the advanced advanced malware uh, capabilities. Absolutely, uh, 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 absolutely. So you know, so if I look at the big picture, so we really have here a global network infrastructure with both actually uh, shared globally underlay and overlay, full overlay with different topologies that we can support for customers. Uh, you know, Engina has a responsibility uh, for pretty much the end-to-end, -end, obviously not pretty much, the end-to-end -end service with actually enterprise-grade SLAs uh, uh, that, is, uh, that are delivered, a, a set of a well-defined catalog, and all of that is powered by uh, SD1 from Cisco, the, the VIPTEL obviously based on the, the latest uh, you know, technology that uh, we uh, benefited through the acquisition of Viptela. Uh, we're leveraging model driven also very, it's a very, to your point about uh, continuous integration and continuous deployment, it's also rooted into a kind of a NetOps, DevOps type model, leveraging actually the capabilities that comes inherently out of the orchestration platform that, that we have. And to your point as well, the operations, very key operations is tied to that orchestration. It's even assurance and other elements are actually in terms of collecting information is orchestrated with actually the service that is being, the services that are being deployed, bringing a pretty much a very holistic view that your operations, which I believe are uh, uh, centrally managed, uh, you know, can deliver. Is that correct? Is that the way it is? Ab absolutely. So we have centralized operations teams, um, which which are exactly um, doing this this kind um, of operations. Um, the good the good news here is using really this layered service orchestration, which uh, somehow I, I believe it it sounds a little bit like like magic. I would say right. You design a global network in a, we call it solution designer, it's a module within the CRM system. You do that really in using more or less plain text um, requirements from, from your customer in doing this kind of designs. And then this layered service orchestration, what it's really doing is, you, so the, how it works is, you have the global service catalog, you select the different services you need for your global network design and uh, then you have that service model for a global network being ready um, in the CRM system. And then it is pushed to the service uh, orchestr so, so the layered orchestration, and this creates uh, what we call network abstraction. So it, it translates that to all the different relations with the components on, on that global platform needs to have, and then there is a second step to it, which uh, more or less and translate that network abstraction to a hardware abstraction, which means really creates the configurations for all that virtualized components which are running on the service platform, as well as on the physical devices which are still with the client, so the CPE, the routers, um, at the customer sites. And you know, nobody anymore is really uh, doing a manual configuration or engineering on all that. So our operations team primarily has two, I would uh, say, uh, tasks to do. First of all, to do the uh, processes for ordering of lines and to orchestrate um, the processes to, to, have, to ensure that the, the physical lines are there. So we call that fulfillment task to do. 
Um, and then to do service assurance, just to see that everything is working. Then also the service assurance we have uh, highly automated. So we, we have the capability to automatically collect all that metrics data and alarms and to do correlations and to open tickets and so on. So our operations teams really then can concentrate on the real um, resolution uh, to resolve um, the incidents. But all the other tasks uh, which you typically would have to do in operations are highly automated as well. That's excellent. So, um, you know, bringing it all together now back to uh, Engine as well, where, where are you, where are we on the uh, pretty much the status of the company uh, in terms of launching the services have been launched? Uh, where are we in the development of the, uh, the overall business? The good news is we are ready, JL. So this means uh, we, have, we have launched the, uh, the service. Um, we have uh, we're already running the first customer proof of concepts on the platform. It's it's working nicely, um, and we will see very soon the first real larger customer rollouts. So I think uh, many of our alliance partners are already very active in the market. We get tremendous feedback from from customers uh, with regards to the way how the the platform works and uh, what the capabilities we can provide to them. So I think we are very much in the starting phase still, but we are out there in the market, and I think that's fascinating. Absolutely. Uh, I think we, we're getting close to the end of uh, uh, this. One area, one aspect as well that I think we work very well as a partnership is also on the... Uh, uh, on the uh, not only on the support side, the one touch support between the organizations, given all of the technologies that we bring to the table, but also in terms of supply chain, we do have those uh, you know different uh, those uh, uh, virtual services are hosted in those what we call hubs or data centers around the world as part of uh, connected through the backbone, uh, and uh, and then obviously we have uh, still uh, CPEs whether there are x86 or whether there are actually uh, physical CPEs, uh, there is a whole aspect of logistics here that is also taken care of by the platform. Everything is really, uh, you know, uh, one, zero touch or one touch, really, uh, but there is no manual intervention really at the, uh, you know, throughout the whole chain from the customer standpoint. So uh, maybe a few words and then we can, uh, we can close uh, uh, this uh, podcast. Um, I think with all that supply chain topics or decentral uh, fulfillment topics are really challenging uh, in our industry. So we have tried to automate that as good as possible, right? So, of course, still the physical delivery of boxes and the physical connection of lines needs to be done the traditional way. You can't virtualize that one. But after this is done via the alliance partner or other partners we use in the logistics chain, um, we have completely automated, as you pointed out. For example, we are shipping empty boxes uh, with no configurations. And if the box is connected at the customer side, it calls back to the global platform and it receives with a plug and play mechanism um, the configuration, so all that, so there's no engineering need, no manual configurations on site and nothing. So I think we have very nicely streamlined all, all that processes and, and really um, optimized that one. So and we also have tightly integrated our alliance partner in that process flow so that ordering of lines, getting information about availabilities or sending out field service technicians are much with less effort than, than you typically have seen in our industry. So what's ahead? Maybe in, in conclusion as, as well, uh, uh, this is uh, first inning. There is much more than can be provided. The world continues, obviously, the appetite for connectivity, uh, intelligent connectivity, collaboration, IoT, other elements, uh, more managed services also to those uh, different locations. Where do we take the business from here? Of course, there's, uh, as you pointed out, there's a lot of opportunities, right? So it is in the UC area to be connected. It is in more or less extending a VAN network towards the LAN network. There's a lot of use cases out there in IoT, and, and, and you mentioned a lot of topics already. Um, I think what's important for Jenna is to f win the first inning, right? So to get the platform um, up and running, which is, is and, and, and have the, 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 the customers on it, and to see um, satisfied customers with the services we are delivering. And then we have a quite aggressive roadmap 
to, to add the services uh, as just described onto that platform. And you know, the, the market and technology development is so fast that, that, that I'm very much convinced that we see many, many further services uh, there uh, within the, in the near future. So, Marcus, thank you. Uh, I think, uh, first, thank you for the partnership. I think we are all, all the partners uh, with Engena, we are in it to win it uh, together. And, and that's, uh, we have also this, uh, you know, one team culture. Uh, frankly, we can't uh, sometimes uh, distinguish who's who. If there's a Cisco or Engena, it's all Engena. And I think uh, uh, pursuing that together. Um, I, uh, any uh, final thought also maybe pointing to uh, other elements that, uh, you know, uh, for people to get information about NGNA going forward? I'd just like to conclude to say thank you, JL, especially to, to yourself as leading the, the task on the Cisco side, um, as well to the whole Cisco team and in really supporting us uh, the way you're doing. Um, I think uh, we, we really have developed something which I would consider being exceptional in the industry. I think we, are, we really have done something which you don't find elsewhere in the way how we uh, did it uh, to set up a global platform with complete automation. Uh, uh, I would say the breadth uh, of, the, of the services we have developed. And uh, I'm really looking forward to bring that to more and more customers so that they can uh, take the benefits out of that one. And just to conclude, I think there will be a short video which may give at least some, some good ideas how does it really look like. And I would encourage everybody now listening and, and watching us to have the short, uh, I would say, view to that video because, you know, talking about something is good, but looking at it and getting a real feel about it gives you a much better impression. Thank you. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you, everyone. Enterprises are facing a huge range of challenges as digitalization, globalization, and new IT solutions call for innovative network solutions. Companies need to interconnect sites and workforces around the globe with greater flexibility and agility than ever before. New cloud-based applications are driving demand for greater connectivity and higher bandwidths with premium network performance and security. To offer a solution that can overcome these customer challenges, leading telecommunication providers from around the world are joining forces in a shared economy model to build the next generation enterprise network alliance, Engena. Engena provides a global platform that interconnects the local networks of all its alliance partners forming a single software-defined network. With Angena's shared network, local alliance partners can deliver consistent data connectivity services to their end customers on a global scale. To manage the software-defined network, Angena has developed a global platform to deliver truly hybrid VPN solutions. Leveraging the advantages of virtualization technology and automation, Angena facilitates a flexible end-to-end -end configuration and provisioning of all services. For each customer site, Alliance partners can offer a choice of single or redundant low-cost internet lines, single or redundant high-quality ethernet lines, or a combination of internet and ethernet lines. And Jenna's central portal serves as a front end, giving Alliance partners access to an end-to-end -end automated IT platform that offers and delivers global network solutions more rapidly than in the past. The system enables the configuration, fulfillment, and assurance of global network services with all financial, logistics, and support processes from the initial bid preparation to creating a binding offer from specifying the solution and its technical configuration to the physical and logical deployment of the network, from handling the support requirements to assuring service fulfillment. All these tasks can be seamlessly coordinated by the Alliance partners in Angena's BOSS system. Let's take a look at a typical VPN project. A multinational company wishes to extend its existing network by three further sites in Hong Kong, Paris, and Chicago. The customer approaches an Angena Alliance partner requesting an offer for an internet and ethernet line for the head office in Hong Kong, a single internet connection for the smaller site in Paris, and a redundant internet link for the Chicago site. The customer also needs a regional internet breakout with security and firewall services. 
In the past, alliance partners had to complete a complicated and time-consuming process of checking local access line availabilities and other parameters, like bandwidths or service levels. Now, they simply log into the portal and find all the required information in a matter of minutes using Angena's Global Service Catalog. By uploading the relevant address information of the sites, the portal sends a request to the connected IT systems of all involved Alliance partners. In response, the portal receives online information about the requested access lines and the available bandwidth at the specified sites. A solution designer of an Alliance partner uses the Angena portal to process the customer's request, adds further details to design the solution, and prepares an offer that is sent to the customer. If the enterprise customer accepts the offer, the Alliance partner will prepare the final order in the portal. After completion of the commercial aspects, the order will be elaborated with further technical details, such as LAN IP addresses, firewall rules, and so on, in accordance with the customer's requirements. Once the customer's solution has been configured, the portal initiates consignment of the customer premise equipment the access lines, and the provisioning of the necessary platform resources. After the access lines have been delivered and the equipment has been connected to the customer sites, the network is provisioned and configured fully automatically by way of a layered orchestration process. The service is now ready for use. The portal has not only been designed to handle order management, technical configuration, and service fulfillment, but also to support customer change requests, network incident resolution, and complaint handling. While the customer's entire network is monitored in real time, Ingena can detect service degradations and outages even before the customer becomes aware of them. When an incident is detected, a service ticket is automatically generated and all involved parties are notified. The integrated fault and performance management functionality, as well as the service impact analysis tools, help to resolve incidents quickly and improve customer experience. Incidents can often be resolved without any impact for the customer. Ingena's innovative approach centers around 1. A global alliance of leading telecommunication providers. 2. A software-defined network providing hybrid VPNs for enterprises. Three, an end-to-end -end automated service orchestration, and four, a central portal supporting all business and operational processes. With the Angena approach, Alliance partners and their customers can realize significant business benefits. When will you start using Angena?